Hey everyone, Brian here with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we are going to check out Hybrid Head Crusher from Pulse Setter Sound. This is a unique and somewhat unconventional instrument. They sampled a vintage ice shaving machine for this one and it is very hybrid, cinematic, and aggressive in nature. The library comes in at just under 3 gigabytes at 2.97 gigabytes, and it is a sampled vintage ice shaving machine. It's got 592 loops, 56 loop construction kits, 4 epic construction kits, 27 pads, 91 broms and hits, and it includes a note and effects sequencer, also includes all of the WAV files for you, and it requires the full version of Contact to run. It retails for about $70 at $69.99. So without further ado, let's check out the instrument itself. Now you see when you load it up here, we have uh, quite a few different NKI files and they're all organized nicely. So we're just gonna start with the first one and go right down the line. So this is Brahms Untuned. Now here you can see the GUI, very nice and a nice little animated logo there. So if we click here, you can have nothing or select from the Brahms. So for instruments with more than one sound source you can select from here. We have this knob right here which is a global effects control and turns up every effect that you have enabled over here on the effects page. Speaking of the effects we have filters, a sequencer right here, um, distortion, panning, lo-fi, reverb delay, and then a sequencer down here. So let's check out what this sounds like. Now, if you notice down here in these pink keys right here, this allows you to pitch the sample. So it's a very quick and easy way for you to change the pitch of that sample. Up here we have the different effects that you have enabled. So for instance, we have filter here. Now that is assigned to this key switch right there. And as you hold that down, it will enable or disable the effect. You can also go here and use this as a global control for all of the effects that are currently enabled. As you can hear there, I have the different sequencer that's going on as well.
Now let's go on to Cinematic Kit 1. So you can hear the delay is kind of baked in there as I turned it off and we still have um, sort of a sequence sound when you hold that. Now moving on to cinematic kit number two. Now here we have the cinematic loops at 120 BPM.
All right, now we're at the cinematic loops at 160 BPM. Now, when they do say 160 BPM, these are still synced to the tempo of your DAW. So remember that you're going to have to just hear them as intended. You're going to have to change your DAW's tempo to 160. We also have two different categories up here, so make sure you explore both of those, Cineloops 1 and 2.
Now here we have the cinematic loops at 90 BPM. Now this one is labeled construction kit and it's similar to the cinematic kits that we were using before. So using this, you can just assemble your own, um, you know, cinematic loops like we have just been playing. It's here where I really think you can uh, really get the character of the instrument and you can really tell this is, you know, an old metallic uh, ice shaving machine. You can really hear it in these samples here. So up here, um, you have the hybrid loops 120 menu, and then you have loop one through five. So you can use the menu and each loop is assigned to a different key down here, or you can open each loop individually, and then you get each layer of the loop assigned to a key down here.
So here are the hybrid loops at 160 BPM. And the same concept applies for all of the loop menus and everything. So you have one instrument, which is the menu, and every loop is accessible right here. And then, of course, we can go in, go into loop one, and then we get the different layers here. So if you think the initial loop is a bit too busy or something like that, you can go to the individual loops here and then sort of deconstruct it and get each layer down here. Now here we have loops um, that are not processed. The other hybrid loops were very processed, very aggressive. Here we have different loops. And again, the same concept where you have the menu and then loop one, two, three, all the way through 10 assigned to the different layers of each loop will be assigned to a different uh, key switch down here. So C is the full loop and then the other ones are the different layers. So that is useful for when you kind of want to deconstruct it and use just the separate layers and kind of create your own loop down there.
All right, now let's jump to the loops at 190 BPM. Now keep in mind that for the loops, we have 120, 160, 190, and 90. Same with the hybrid loops. And then the cinematic loops, we have all of those, but not 190. So 120, 160, and then 90 BPM. So we'll check out some of the loops at 190 and see what those sound like. And the same kind of concept across the board applies where we have different loops all here in the little menu. All right, so now we're gonna get into the final two categories of this instrument. We have Mega Hits and then Pads Plus. So here we have Mega Hits, three different uh, menus for those. So we'll check some out from each one.
Now we'll go on to the final instrument category, which is pads. Plus, they have a very nice range, pretty much programmed on every single key down here. And then, of course, we have different categories here. So make sure you check all of those out. So we'll go through a few of them. Now, these are really creepy and atonal in nature. So I found best, um, they work best when you're just holding down one key as opposed to playing a chord or something like that. So let's check them out. Alright, so there you have it. A quick look at Hybrid Head Crusher from Pulse Setter Sounds. Now, I did enjoy the instrument um, quite a bit, but of course, as you notice, it's very aggressive, very dark. There are not going to be any beautiful, um, shining sounds here. And while it is sampled off a real um, object, this ice shaver, uh, it sounds very processed and very aggressive and in your face. So, while you can kind of get fairly unprocessed loops it's all going to be 
um, pretty distorted, pretty aggressive, you know, lots of reverb and delay on everything. Um, it's not going to provide you much really dry material, but um, it's really, really good for, you know, sound design for horror movies, for stuff like that. I did like the interface quite a bit. It didn't explain really what this knob did inside the manual. Um, so I had to kind of consult with some colleagues on that and to uh, figure out what that was. I like the controls that are built in. Uh, nice effects, nice arpeggiator, sequencer right there. Um, and it also has a nice variety of sounds. Um, just keep in mind that when you use these loops, you're going to have to adjust your DAW's tempo to whatever they say is the BPM. You know, some of them kind of don't sync to your tempo and they're just by default 160 BPM or 190. So um, if you don't have your DAW's tempo set to 160, they'll still play, but they're not going to sound as intended. Also make sure you go in here and check out all the different categories as most of the instruments will have multiple categories right here. Um, overall, very nice instrument. I like the creativity of it. Um, it could use, you know, some more maybe dry, unprocessed sounds that you can kind of add your own sound design to. Um, but all in all, it was a very nice instrument and I like the creativity of that. So guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Um, please let us know your thoughts on this library. I think, you know, a lot of the hybrid trailer composers will like it. Um, so let us know what you think, what you uh, liked about the sounds, what you didn't like. Remember to comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Also remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when we come through with new videos just like this. And remember to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for news, reviews, and our weekly deal compressor. Thanks guys.